the more people that we have volunteering and doing things with us, the better we'll be, the stronger we'll be, and the better the fishery will be. And we're all about the fishery, fishery right? We're all, whatever's good for the fish is good for us, right? So that's the way we feel. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for coming and uh, for participating with us, and we'll try to do our best. Wow, you want to talk about the box? Tie a red ass, soft tackle, red glass bead, red tying thread, peacock hurl, and some partridge for a collared wing. Start by putting on the thread midway, work yourself back to the curve of the hook. Snip. Build up a little bit of a back here, around the eye. Slip the bead, thread over the bead. And built a little dam in front of it so it doesn't wriggle around. And work some thread up toward the eye laying down some color nice even turns and if it's about halfway point get a couple of pieces of peacock curl trim off the brittle ends and tie it in Spiral the peacock on, keeping the thread just in front of it. Help keep it evenly turned and not cross over. And get some peacock on there, almost to where the tie-in point is. And tie it off. Last part is a partridge snip the excess off. Then your little plunger tackle pliers. Sweep the barblets back as you spin. Tackle a couple of turns and tie it off. Snip out the stem. And we'll finish. Done. This boy, you may want to put a couple of drops of head cement on that. There you go. I O B O. The the I O B O. Start with some tying thread just behind the eye, give it an eye length or so. Build up a little thread base. Working it way toward the tying point. Clean it up.
the instructions call for using a uh, CDC feather. This is a Mark Pettigene premium feather. They're extra long. They have a little bit sturdier stem, which could be brittle. CTC feather wrapped from the front of the hook to the back of the hook. I'm going to pull the rest of the feather forward to make a shell back. We're going to work the uh, thread back to the front again after we check the length of the shell back. Pull it forward. You can have a little bit of, you don't have to tighten that up. Have it really tight against the back, just snug it enough. The idea is to it catches the water and floats, and the rest of it sort of sinks a little bit. CDC is very buoyant, so you're gonna have some fun making sure this does sink and breaks the uh, surface tension. But return whip finish and you're done. Interesting fly. I like working with CDC, it's fun material. <laughs>